Wandering Otters, and this is part seven of our 17 mile drive series. And I'm flopping my arms like a bird. Oh. Or should I say, dirty bird? A dirty bird. Tell us a little bit more about the dirty birds. Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons are nicknamed the dirty birds. All right. So Paul is going to go ahead and read to you about um, bird rock here. This wildlife hub is buzzing with birds, harbor seals, and barking sea lions. Bird rock was actually covered in four to five feet of pelican and cormagano. Guano, that's poop. So they're covered in four to five feet of bird poop. Oh my god. Till 1930 when it was harvested as a fertilizer. Oh. Seal lions took advantage of the clean up perch and have been sunbathing there ever since. Alright. Okay, some good old bird rock. Alright. Reminds me a lot of uh, Seal Rock up by San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for that. Thank you. Good job, Paul. Very good job. All right. And I am going to go ahead and let you see what we see. So there is Boyd Rock right there. What a rush. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Oh, look at Pixie. Oh, I there have he is. There's a bunch on. of them around. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Video yeah. was on. Oh, that's all right. All I right. Well, we're going to go ahead and mosey on down here and uh, park. And the uh, nice thing about Bird Rock here is, uh, and this is where we like to picnic, and that is what we're going to do next. Mm -hmm. So uh, put that on your list, point seven here. Uh, Bird Rock is a great place to picnic because there are bathrobes the right there. <laughs> and picnic tables. Yeah. And a beautiful view. Surely. Yeah. There's a beautiful woman got out of surgery and is enjoying a beautiful view. I am. All right. In case you don't know, this was all filmed on the 17th of, De of September, the day after Susan just had a uh, uh, her lymph nodes removed from her neck related to a tongue cancer that she has had removed. So as a precaution, the lymph nodes were removed. Now I'm going to continue filming, but in the meantime, Susan is going to enjoy the rest features of Bird Rock. All right. By the way, you see a lot of people with these electric, I call them electric mopeds, but they're uh, like electric bikes. And they're pretty handy, really. Pretty, pretty snazzy operation. Okay. Just as simple as that. I'm getting Susan's walker out. How about that? And there you go, my, my dear. Oh, and boy, look at the drama going on over there with the sea lions. I think they come here and play king of the mountain decide who gets to bask in the sun and of course they can only do so much of it so then uh, once they're done basking they go for a dip it's a rough life I guess <coughs> actually it gets challenging for these critters and all the pinnipeds seals because they're one of the favorite meals of the uh, orcas that when they come through so you know circle of life they're preying on uh, all kinds of fish and whatnot right now but 
then they'll end up being prey themselves. Just how it works. Kind of sad though, I kind of root for the, uh, the seals. Every now and then they'll take otters too, dolphins. And of course, gray whales are a favorite target, target of the orcas. Not a big fan of orcas. I'm kind of like feeling better about SeaWorld keeping them in captivity. Just kidding. Just kidding. And there you go. Bird rock. Okay, well, this is, as I say, um, one of the best places to picnic because you got nice bathroom facility, nice view, and it's about a midway point in the, uh, the at least the water stretch of 17 mile drive. And it's also say goodbye to this kind of parking because from here on out it's going to be pretty, pretty tough parking. Just so you know. Raft of Wandering Otters, see you in the next one.